So anyway, thank you who reached out and say, how come you haven't done doing a lot of live? See? I don't know why it's trying to reconnect. So let me know where you're joining from and we're gonna give everybody just a couple seconds here to get notifications that I went live. So in my title today, what type of ninja are you? So being a mother of four, we often name the ninja boys in our type of house. So we know that the quarantine began right around spring break. So I know a lot of people have taken this time to like get their drawers cleaned out. I sorted out my sock drawer. I've been cleaning out my closet. Some people took this time to say it's spring break and you know what happens on spring break, you go on vacation and then you come back, you get back in your regular routine of things. And so if you didn't get back in your regular routine of things, like going back to the gym, get back on your healthy diet because you know summer's coming, summer vacations coming, graduations, weddings, so things like that are coming that motivates you to get back in shape in your regular routine then people seem to get healthier around this time of year. You take off your Christmas and your winter weight and get back in shape. However, when you get back in this quarantine type of situation, what I'm actually finding with my online patients, with my friends and my neighbor, they're calling it a quarantine. Quarantine, like 10 pounds are actually putting on, calling it a quarantine. And I think that I thought I would reach out today because a lot of people here in Overland Park, we thought they were going to re release a certain level of people getting back to work um, May 3rd, which would have been last weekend. They extended that in Kansas to match Missouri, which is like the 15th or 17th. So I just wanna ask you, have you been one of those people who've been doing a super great job washing your hands, washing your service, surface of your countertops, cleaning out your house, cleaning out your windows, maybe cleaning out your drawers, but you forgot about your body? So we're gonna talk about detoxing out your body, detoxing out things inside your body because what's happening on the outside doesn't always appear what's happening on the inside. Or sometimes it does in forms of rashes and brown spots, eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, all those things are little hints that your body's telling you that the inside is getting toxic. But again, sharing with what I've been talking with people about is like, again, they've done a great job cleaning their house, they've done a great job washing their hands, a great job keeping um, the rest of their surface areas clean in their house, keeping their cars clean, wearing masks and things like that, to kind of let their health go. When we know that what you're putting inside your body is just as important for your immune system as things like washing your hands. I'm not minimizing washing your hands, I'm not minimizing people, making sure you have good oral hygiene. Just wanna talk about that. So right now I'm finishing up a 60 hour reboot. I actually started a couple days early. I'm going to do another reboot um, about the 17th and we call it, what we do is we do a reset and a reboot. So. The reason I do that is because food creep happens. Toxic things creep happen. So we're being exposed to a lot of other cleaners right now. Like I took my mom to the doctor this morning. I don't know what type of cleaners I use in there, but you could definitely smell. There was a lot of different smells in there. It's probably some toxic cleaners to clean the carpets, the, the chairs, whatever they were doing in there cleaning wise, but definitely smell like there's a lot more stuff in there. And now you can see our neighbors were spraying their yard with stuff. I don't even know what they're spraying out there. So this is a really a time of year where you get exposed to a lot of things. We're inhaling those in, plus whatever else could be inhaling in besides different uh, molds in the air, especially in Kansas, different allergens. So you definitely wanna clean the body from the inside out, but I also say it's time to slow down a little bit. And so people have also said that, well, I'm gonna take this quarantine time to slow down a little bit. I'm going to skip the CrossFit gym because it's closed. I'm gonna take time off from weightlifting or doing some powerlifting. I'm gonna take some time off from kickboxing. I'm gonna trade that in for some yoga, some meditation, and then following up with some patients after five or six weeks, like, yeah, I haven't done that yet. I'm like, okay, well, let's get back on track. Yeah, I haven't done that either yet. I'm like, well, let's go back to intermittent fasting and eating that kind of eight hour window. Well, it's kind of a movie night. Well, it's a board game night. Well, it's a puzzle night, which is awesome that you're entertaining and doing stuff with your family, but we have to kind of stop that food behavior now that it's been so many weeks. Again, spring break should not last until summer break. We should actually have spring break and then go back to those regular routines. So there's so many great things online. People are offering free memberships online. You can use your own body's weight to do different type of thing so I do love yoga I do love meditation please don't take anything away from that. I think you absolutely should have that in your in your workout but think about this for a minute if you're driving to your job and now you're actually taking that time to sleep in a little bit more because I've heard that from people as well then maybe go back to your routine what that was was actually not staying up as late so I'm hearing that as well because kids get to sleep in a little bit longer but maybe go back to your old routine and take actually make a proper breakfast for your kids or prepare a better lunch or dinner for 
and taking that time that you usually travel to work and maybe getting your workout time done then or maybe getting some organizational skills done then and taking those chunks of time that you're not using anymore that you were driving or that you were doing that and then find some place that you can get online and do some of those whole body workout if you were a weightlifter before you can do kickboxing from home you get some crossfit workout done at home in your driveway in your gym in your garage don't let things go one month two months three months down the road and find out like gosh i really lost everything i gained because i started after christmas doing that because i'm hearing this from a lot of people who said well just be a couple weeks and i'll be back in the range of things so i'm asking you maybe you've been a super clean ninja at home but have been cleaning on the inside of your body out so if the answer is no then join me in a 10-day reset which we're going to ditch all the sugar we're going to start on the 7th we're gonna ditch the sugar, we're gonna ditch the processed foods. You can get everything you need delivered to your home, just fresh vegetables or frozen vegetables, fresh meats. We're gonna get rid of all the sauces and popcorns and things that have maybe wiggled your way back into your house since the kiddos have been home. And then we're gonna, on May 17th, we're gonna do a 60 hour kind of keto reboot reset, which means we're gonna have some bone broth and some exogenous ketones to really do some nice cellular detox into your body. We do it in a nice set, so we lower the carbohydrates, so we're eating fresh, carbohydrates in the form of lots of earthy greens and lots of uh again eating from the rainbow i'm gonna say that and some plants things like that and nuts and seeds so you lower that down so it kind of prepares your body and use the green vegetables to clean out all the inside like you've been cleaning the outside of your house the outside of your body we're going to clean the inside out and give that time for your body to do that i'm also going to challenge you to start really looking at your daily schedule and maybe get back to that schedule you were doing back in I guess it was March or back in February, and say the time I was using to drive to work before, I'm going to use that towards either doing maybe some more self-care, maybe that's working out some more, maybe taking those walks I'm doing in the evening, which is great, and putting a little more body work into that, stopping doing some push-ups or doing some plyo jacks or doing some tricep push-ups, things like that, some more abdominal workouts, some more core workout, and just pushing that a little bit further. It's great if you've been walking the last two months, but let's push that up and maybe run or do some interval stuff that you can do a around the block in your yard you know things you can do you can do push-ups against the tree you can do a lot of things um, around your house and in your driveway I see a lot of people showing what they're doing and their home workouts which is perfect you can do a lot of stuff on your stairs you can get little weights from around your house whether it's cans of vegetables or there's old tires in your garage lots of little things that you can do to help get your body moving. So you just have to kind of think, have I put a lot of attention into the environment around my house and into self-cleaning, like your hands and your cabinets and your floors and things like that, and maybe forgot about your body because your immune system is on the inside as well and think, I've got to get back to eating healthy foods to get back to eating lean meats and healthy greens and plant fats and really focusing on that because I've kind of gotten really lax with all those distractions that I've had. We know that your nervous system is super important, your mental emotional state and your mindset is super important and a lot of us are running on overdrive there's a lot of distractions and noise going on out there I know so many people were so excited last week when they said say my kids are going back to work like oh my gosh we're getting relief finally May 3rd is coming May 3rd is coming and then and my niece was supposed to, is getting married on the 10th of May and so so many people were so excited and then it got extended so you see that whole cycle of stuff going not only for the social cycle for adults or for adolescents are for many people but we've got to help keeping that positivity going up so a lot of fun things you can do you can have dance parties via be, be be a zoom um, you can have them in your cul-de-sac just put a music in the middle of your cul-de-sac and turn the radio up if you don't live on a farm it wouldn't work but it definitely work if you lived on a cul-de-sac and have some fun stuff to do think outside the box reunite with some friends I challenge some people in another group to send every time you kind of felt like distracted, you felt hangry, you went for some junk food or felt yourself kind of a sad blue spot, like, you know, maybe feeling like, oh, why me? Send five texts to five people and just say, hey, how are you? Thinking about you, missing you. Let's make a date for when this quarantine is lifted. Let's go for a walk. Let's see a movie. Let's do something you normally would do. And just put it out there, something to look forward to. And put it in July or something. Don't put it like in 10 days to, am I going to be disappointed? Or maybe just kick up a chit chat with them and just get distracted from that. Another thing you can do is just, again, journal your journey. If you find yourself eating in a situation like this and say, man, this is when I'm really going to food because this is really testing some people. 
I know why I go to food. I know when I go to food. I know when I go to TV shows or I know when I'm not going to go to sleep when I'm staying and binging on Netflix, when my emotions go here or when I'm staying up all night and doing this. You can really start to identify where those um, unhealthy habits stem from. This is a great time to identify those and connect with people who can help you work through those because there's a lot of people giving free services. I know, again, I've not been on Facebook Live very often just because there's so many Facebook Live going on right now. I think that you can probably watch Facebook Lives all day long, Instagram Lives all day long. I've just been trying to be a little uh, more patient with that. But I wanted to bring some value today and I just want to really talk about deep cleaning from the inside out. I think most people are doing a great job with social quarantining. Again, hand, you know, hand sanitizing is doing great because it's running out wherever you are. But I really wanted to think you know, make sure you're cleaning all bases, cleaning out the negativity and turning up the positivity, cleaning out the junk out of your cover, the garbage. We do know people who are the slowest to recover from any bacteria or virus, not just the COVID-19, but from any bacteria or virus are people who have diabetes, people who are addicted to sugar, people who have a higher sugar diet, maybe not diabetic yet, but have a tendency to be more sensitive to sugar or have a higher sugar addiction. Again, maybe not diagnosed with diabetes. Maybe you had gestational diabetes when you're pregnant, you're going to be more likely to have a less likelihood to recover from things as you age and you get more susceptible to allergies and viruses, bacteria and parasites. So this is a time to ditch the habit, ditch the sugar, clean things out. Don't let it come back in the house. I did read a message from a patient of mine who's not been able to come into the office. It's been about seven weeks. She hasn't been into her job. She has lost weight. She feels great. She's exercising routinely. She's not pulled into the uh, the workroom where there's sugar and there's temptations and there's Friday night go outs and there's lunches coming in and there's all those birthday celebrations and she's lost weight. So this has been a great healthy way for her to get away from those places that have been tempting her. So she's done a great job. So there's so many positive things that can come out of this. I know parents who are engaging with their kids a lot more, people are finding ways to do this. So you can always find a positive way. You can either say, the cup is half full or the cup is half empty and you can decide which way you want to do that because you are in charge of your own health. You can make your body as healthy as you want it to be. You can choose today is a day I'm going to throw the sugar out. Today is a day I'm going to go to bed on time. Today is a day I'm going to turn the positivity up no matter what's happening around the globe. Today is a day I'm going to choose happiness for me and positivity. Today is a day I'm going to choose to get up and get walking. And so when we're talking about this. It really is stemming from the, you know, we look at First of all, sugar is feeding inflammation in your immune system. The second thing is, is that I have so many people calling it the quarantine or the quarantine. It's kind of cute, but it's kind of sad that people want to make some fun out of people gaining weight when we know that this is absolutely not the time to be doing that because if you happen to get sick, and I don't want that for anybody, but knowing that you've been eating poorly for the last seven weeks and you've put on weight and you've been eating eating poorly means you've been eating too many carbohydrates and putting on that weight, that means that if you do get sick, you're going to be slower to recover from that. So I did share a couple weeks ago, you guys, most of you guys know I'm an above a new above knee amputee and that I have to be very, very careful with my weight because if I gain my weight two or three pounds, I can't put my prosthesis on. So I've been a little more boisterous on that. Why I watch my weight, why I detox, why I do a reboot, um, 60 hour reboot every single month because it resets my nervous system, it resets my taste buds for sugar because I like to eat like everybody else, why I do so many dietary swaps and why I choose a low carb ketogenic diet for myself. It takes away cravings, it helps with satiety which means it makes you feel full or longer. So I'm able to say no to things. I have three boys living in my house plus my husband and my mom and my dog, lots of temptations in my house not my dog, but lots of temptations in my house. It makes you feel better. Ketones actually calm down your nervous system. It increases your GABA and your dopamine, which is your feel good neurotransmitter. So eating healthy fats, eating coconut oil, eating avocados. We had Chipotle chicken last night with some avocado and guac well, guacamole avocado is the same, but all that stuff is great. I don't need to have the, um, burrito wrap thing for it. You can eat healthy food that's nourishing your body because we know I'd rather, I for myself, I'd rather feel good all day long than have my mouth or my taste buds satisfied, satisfied for 20 minutes. That's the same thing whether it is a donut. It's a mindset game for yourself. I'd rather feel good and think, well, maybe there's a half a bag of popcorn. I just want to finish it up. Well, how long is that going to satisfy you? And when you do eat it, then I myself, I don't have two hours to go get on a treadmill to burn that off. And then how am I going to feel after I eat it? No one in my house is going to shame or blame me for eating it. They're like, oh, did you enjoy that? But for myself, if I eat that much, I probably can't get my 
my prosthesis on. I'm going to have to find a way to burn those calories off, which is not very easy right now for me because the water where I swim is not open. My hot yoga studio isn't open right now. And where I can ride a bike, because there's only a few bikes I can ride, it's not open right now. So I've got to get walking, which if I can't wear my prosthesis, I can't walk. So that's not really a winning game for me. So just think about that yourself for a minute. So if I eat that basket of fries, if I eat that popcorn, it's going to take me 15 minutes to eat it. How long would that satisfy me? And then what's the end result? And how am I going to feel? So just put your mind around it. What can I have in place that's going to satisfy me just as much, that's going to make me feel full and make me feel happy, and then going to nourish my body, make me feel healthy inside. So that's really what it's all about. And here at Ask Dr. Heather, mine is never ever to preach at you. I just want to relay information and really help empower you or motivate you, inspire you to be the best version of yourself. We talk a lot about this for that. So at Thanksgiving, I love, 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 love pie, love pumpkin pie. So I would tell people the week before Thanksgiving, I would put some extra miles in, some extra gym time in. I would pick pumpkin pie. I wouldn't have stuffing, wouldn't have the rolls, wouldn't have the uh, white potatoes. It would, or the sweet potatoes, it would just be the pumpkin pie. And that's what I would have. And I would have it without any type of guilt. And I would enjoy every single bite of it. And that's the same thing looking forward. But again, working with the last... Um, few weeks with patients and people doing this I've gained corn 10 points 10 pounds it's like let's turn that around the sun shines out the rain yesterday is beautiful so the everything's green leaves are coming out get out and get working out start cleaning your body from the inside out if you want to join our 10 day email me for more information about that if you've never tried to do any type of intermittent fasting or fasting or want to try a 60 hour keto reboot that naturally detoxifies your body let me know there's only a few days to get the kits because we stopped the sale of the kits so you can join us. Um, I am going to do some more sharing. My mom is living with us and has been for the last few weeks, about eight weeks, eight, nine weeks right now, I guess maybe since January. I'm going to share some more of her story with us. Um, just since she's been living with us, she is on hospice. And so we've been changing her diet quite a bit. <laughs> To, uh, to uh, I don't think to her surprise, she knew it was going to happen, but she's feeling amazingly better. Her doctor's appointments are incredibly well, um, and they probably cut back on seven or eight of the pills that they had her on or medication she's on. I'm like, well, let's just stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that, which is exciting. Um, and so, you know, just going to share some of the stuff and some feedback that we're getting from her. I'm going to share that with you here if that's okay. But today it's about what kind of ninja are you? What kind of ninja? Are you a squishy ninja because spring break is still going on? but you're a super clean ninja because you've been cleaning everything else or you want to be a clean strong ninja which means you're strong from the inside out you're physically fit your immune system strong you're mentally strong your mindset strong you're great where you want to be just let us know because we want to meet you where you are and we want to help you get going where you want to go so thanks for joining me here today and again i love meeting new ninjas wherever you are so this is absolutely meant to be shared and absolutely please invite some friends to this page information is always free here I also has a youtube channel which is ask dr heather i've got some good recipes recipes there. Um, also on Instagram is Ask Dr. Heather. More about my amputation journey is on ampu, uh, ampu, ampu mom keto doc on Instagram. I thought Frank was going to probably put it down there for me. But again, thanks for joining me. And always, please feel free to share this. If you have questions about information that's going on, I'm not really adjust, uh, addressing the COVID because so many people are addressing that. That's why I'm not really going on that. Just talking about your healthy immune system like I always have the last 25 years. But if there's certain questions you have, uh, please let me know. I'm happy to address them and happy to help you filter out through what some of the muddle and noise is out there and kind of what the truth is. If I don't know, I'll be very, very honest with you and tell you I've got to do some more research and let me find out what the real truth is on that. And now knowing that the media is blowing up everywhere globally and there is so much new information emerging everywhere, but I want to help you get through that information. But again, keep it super simple. We got to drink water. We can only go three days without water. We have to breathe. Breathe in through your nose and you breathe out through your mouth. We breathe carbon dioxide out through our mouth. That's how our body gets rid of waste. In through your nose, out through your mouth. We only go about three minutes without breathing, three days without water, and then our body gets on pharmacy. It takes the food that we eat, it breaks it down and digests it, and we get our energy from the food that we eat, and we get our nutrients, things like electrolytes, which are essential for our body. We get things like fatty acid, amino acids, which are the building blocks for our body. We get that from the food that we eat. And then again, we have our mindset. So our mindset is super important. It's almost as important as what we eat. So turn the positivity up. 
I'm reading Frank's writing. I will come back and read your comments and I'll usually answer them. So you guys have a super great day. Hopefully you have a nice sunshiny day where you are or you're getting a beautiful rainstorm which is washing away and replenishing the soil and replenishing the beautiful trees and flowers that are blooming. And then you'll have a nice, nice sunny day or a rainbow tonight. So you guys have a great day. I'll see you later.